elements compounds. What is the difference between these two? Hello my dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Teen, your science teacher for today's vlog. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science. For today's vlog, we are in quarter one, week two, module two of science seven. And our topic for today is elements and compounds. But before we proceed in discussing this topic, let us have the major classification of matter first. And let us define matter. Ano ba pag sinabi nating matter? Okay, alam naman natin lahat na when we say matter, it is anything that occupies space and has mass and it is around us. Now, what are the two? major classifications of matter. So, we have two major classifications of matter and this is the pure substance and mixture. Okay? Ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng pure substance and mixture? Sige nga, i-recall natin. Okay. Pag sinabi nating pure substance, it consists of a single type of substance. And when we say pure substance, it is any substance that is composed of one type of atom or molecule. Pero, pag sinabi nating mixture, it consists of two or more pure substances. Okay, nakita niyo yung pagkakaiba? Kapag pure substance, single type of substance lang, or one atom or one molecule. Pero kapag mixture, madami. Ano? What else? Pag sinabi nating pure substance, hindi niyan kayang separate. Uh, hindi kayang i-separate into other substances by physical method. Ano, pagdating sa pure substance. Pero, kapag mixture, it can be separated into its components by physical methods. Now, what are the categories of pure substances and mixtures? Okay, so unahin natin yung mixture. Sa mixture, it can be broken down into two. We have the heterogeneous and the homogeneous, which is pag-aaralan natin sa kasunod na vlog. And when we say pure substance, nahati naman ito sa dalawa. Okay, at ito tinatawag natin na element and compound, which is yung i-discuss natin sa vlog na ito. Okay, so tingnan nga natin. Magkaroon lang tayo ng counting quiz. So, sabihin nyo nga kung ito yung element or compound. And then mamaya, papakita natin kung ano yung sagot. Number one, Copper. Is it element or compound? Okay, next. We have the oxygen. Element or compound? Okay, number three. We have carbon dioxide. Element or compound? How about the gold? Element or compound? And last, we have Water, element, or compound? Okay. Later, sasagutin natin yan. Are you familiar with the periodic table of elements? Okay, papatao sa inyo. Yan. Okay. So, those 118 elements in the periodic table are the alphabet of matter because every tangible material is a combination of these elements. Okay, let's discuss first the element. So, when we say element, the elements are categorized into three. We have the metal, non-metal, and metalloid. At meron pa nga tayong tinatawag na noble gases. So, paano ba nakategorize itong elements? Okay, bakit naging metal, metalloid, non-metal, noble gases? Okay, so these elements, they are categorized because of their electrical ibig sabihin nun? When we say electrical attributes, meron kasing mga elements na naglulus, nagbibigay, ano, naglulus sila ng electron at meron din namang mga elements na sila naman yung nag-a-acquire ng electrons. Now, kapag ang isang element ay naglus ng electron, nagiging positive charge yan. 
at ito ang mga metal. Okay? Pero kapag ang element ay nag-acquire ng electron, ibig sabihin sila naman yung binigyan, sila naman ngayon yung nagiging negatively charged. Sino naman yun? Ito ang tinatawag naman natin na non-metal. Okay, eh ano naman yung metalloid? Yung metalloid, in the third group is the metalloids. Metalloids meaning to say, they are not non-metal at hindi rin naman sila metal because they fall into two or between the two extremes. And we also have the noble gases. So, yung noble gases, unlike ng metalloid, na yung metalloid kasi, pwede pa yung ma-persuade. Pwede siyang mag-acquire or mag-lose ng electron. Pero kapag noble gases, sila yung wala ng pakialam kasi they are stable. Hindi sila mag-lose or hindi rin sila mag-gain ng electron. At yun yung makikita natin sa right side, yung pinakadulong right side ng periodic table of elements. When we say element, it is a pure substance that consists of only one type of atom. At yung bawat atom, meron yung corresponding atomic number. At yun yung makikita nyo sa periodic table. Bawat element may kanya-kanya yung atomic number, which represents the number of protons that are in the nucleus of a single atom of the element. At kung mapapansin nyo sa periodic table of elements, it is arranged and ordered by ascending atomic number. Yes, pataas pa mula sa una. We have the hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and so on. Okay, this is an illustration of the periodic table of elements. And as you can see, uh, meron tayong mga color dito. And this elements highlighted in color blue, these are the metal. These are the metal elements. And it can be found at the left side of your periodic table. So we have the lithium, the beryllium, the sodium, magnesium, and, and this one. Ayan, hanggang dito sa may baba, lahat po yan ay metal. Okay? And then, dito naman sa right side, we have the non-metal group. So, ito naman kulay red. So, we have the uh, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Lahat ito ay non-metal, including itong hydrogen. Okay? So, ayan. And then, ano naman yung pangatlo? So, we have the metalloid. Ang metalloid, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung itong color green. And, ayan, meron tayong ladder dito. Ibig sabihin, ito yung parang pinaka-boundary ng metal and non-metal. So, madali lang tandaan na itong nandito sa parang hagdan, itong tinatawag natin na metalloid. So, again, sa metalloid, uh, pwede siyang ma-persuade na metal or ng non-metal. Kasi pwede siyang mag-lose or mag-gain ng electron. Depende. And we have the uh, boron, silicon, germanium. Yung sinatawag pa natin isa kanina na noble gases. So, ito yung nandito sa right side. So, lahat ng nandito, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon, ito yung mga uh, noble gases kung saan hindi na sila nakikialam dito sa metal and non-metal. It's either mag lulus or ene. Hindi na sila, sila kasi ay mga stable elements na. So, hindi na nila kailangan pang mag-gain or mag ng electron. At sila yung wala ng charge. Ano? Kasi nga, sila ay stable electrons na. Stable elements. Yeah. So, this is the periodic table of element. And as you can see, yan po ay ascending order. Ayan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, pataas. Ano? And yung mga nakikita yung letter lang dyan, yun yung symbol. Pero pag tumingin kayo sa talagang periodic table of elements, so this is our sample only, meron pa siyang nakalagay kung ano talaga yung pangalan nila. So, for example, each hydrogen. Li Li lithium. Okay? Like what we've said, metals are typically found on the left side of the periodic table. And usually, yung mga metal, they are conductive to electricity. They are shiny malleable, and sometimes magnetic. So, what are the examples of metal? We have the aluminum, copper, gold, mercury, and lead. However, our non-metals are typically found in the right side of our periodic table. And 
Pag sinabing non-metal, they are not conductive to electricity. They are also not malleable, they are dull and not shiny, and they are not magnetic. So what are the examples of non-metal? We have the carbon, the nitrogen, the oxygen, we have the uh, phosphorus. How about the metalloids? Yung metalloids, ito yung makikita nyo na parang hagdan. Ano, siya yung nag hahati naman sa non-metal at saka sa metal. When it comes to characteristics of metalloids, there are some characteristics of metalloids that are the same with the non-metal and the metal. And if you can notice, sa periodic table of elements, meron dyan ang mismong pangalan niya, the name of the element, and the symbol. So pag sinabi natin symbol, kumbaga sa tao, ito yung initial niya. Ano, so for example, ikaw ay si Christine May, so, ang initial mo ay KM. So, sa element naman, pag sinabing uh, symbol, ito yung parang initial niya. Kagaya ng hydrogen, meron siyang symbol na H. For example, oxygen, ang symbol niya ay O. Nitrogen, ang symbol niya ay N. Okay, now, let's proceed in discussing compound. Kanina na-discuss na natin yung element. So, ano naman ngayon ang tinatawag natin na compound? Ano yung pagkakaiba ng compound sa element? Okay, when we say compound, compounds always have more than one kind of atoms. Hindi kagaya sa element na isa lang siyang kind ng atom. We can divide compound into elements by chemical means. Hindi kagaya ng elements na ang element, we cannot divide the element into two or more uh, simpler substances by physical or chemical means. Pero ang compound, pwedeng pwede. And when we say compound, there is no upper limit on the type of compounds that can be formed. Kahit madaming, 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 madaming tayo ma-form, pwedeng-pwede. Kung baga, unlimited ang formation ng compound. Unlike sa element, na meron lamang tayong 118 elements. At yun na nga yung makikita natin sa periodic table. Kasi isang uri lang sila ng atom. Pag hydrogen, hydrogen lang talaga compare sa compound, ano? Ano ba example ng compound? So, for example, water. Di ba ang water that is H2O? So, sabihin, meron siyang dalawang atom ng hydrogen at merong isang oxygen. Kaya siya naging compound kasi combination na siya ng more than two elements or more than two atoms. Another example, we have sodium plus Chlorine, so we have the sodium chloride. Kaya ito yung NaCl. And another example ng compound, we have the ammonia or NH4. Merong isang nitrogen at merong apat na hydrogen. So, yun yung mga example ng compound. So, makikita nyo naman, di ba? Kapag element, talagang isang-isa lang siya. At again, ang element, hanggang 118 lang siya. Kasi yun yung nasa periodic table. Pero kapag compound, Kasi siya yung combination ng iba't ibang atom. So, mas madami. Unlimited. Ano? There is no limit. Okay, balikan natin yung quiz natin kanina. Yung five examples ng uh, kung siya yung element or compound. So, sige nga. We have the copper. Element or compound. Very good. That is element. How about this one? Helium. Okay, that is also an element. How about this one, gold? Element also. How about carbon dioxide? Yan, that is compound because carbon dioxide is consisting of CO2. So, you have one atom of carbon and two atom of oxygen. And then, the next one is water, H2O. Okay, very obvious, that is a compound. Very good. This is the end of our lesson vlog for quarter 1, week 2, module 2 in Science 7. I hope you learned something from this vlog. So, para sa susunod nating vlog, week 3 na tayo, and we will discuss about the uh, mixtures. Okay, ayan. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for listening. Again, sana may natutunan kayo. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7. Meron din pala akong mga videos in Science 8, so pakibrowse na lang ng aking uh, YouTube channel. See you all in my next vlog. 
Bye and keep safe always. This is Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today. Bye. Nag subscribe ka na ba? Subscribe naman. Ayan, thank you. Pag nag subscribe ka, ang mag subscribe nito, papasa nga yung year na to. Yan. Bye.